like an unusual question, but it's this. Are there pharmaceuticals swimming in our oceans? Well, experts say yes. Researchers have found traces of prescription medication in fish we commonly eat. CBS News Miami's Gabrielle Arzola reports. Fish has always been seen as a healthy option, but now studies show what's on your plate may also resemble what's in your medicine cabinet. It's invisible because the pharmaceuticals don't make the water murky. You know, the water's clear. There's no... There's no algo blue. Dr. Jennifer Rehage is a professor at Florida International University's Institute of Environment, and their team spent a year traveling around Florida, capturing and sampling redfish. That means fish we eat, like snapper, and found that 94% of the fish they caught tested positive for drugs. The most common? So we found opiates, uh, an opiate called tramadol. We found um, antidepressant-like medications. And then we found a lot of heart medications as well. Student Nick Castillo says Florida is one of the top states in the country where prescription medication is most used. Because of that, when people use the restroom, that contaminated waste goes down the toilet and eventually in our waterways. The technology that we have for wastewater treatment, it's unable to keep up, you know? This is all so new. Dr. Rehage says within the past decade, prescription drug use has skyrocketed. And according to a Georgetown University study, more than 66% of adults use prescription drugs, and it's apparent in the water. But there is good news. Scientists say even though these fish are contaminated, they have low amounts of these chemicals and are still safe to eat. But now folks at FIU are working on discovering what kind of long-term effects, if any, could come from eating pharmaceutical fish. We're being exposed to a lot of different kinds of pharmaceuticals. So even though it's at a low dose, we just still don't know what happens over your whole life. And that's still something to be uh, a cause for concern and consideration. I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS News, Miami.